this is Karen with Karen's Blue Ridge Stamping. I'm dropping by today to give you a quick tip on custom dyeing your own twine. Sometimes we're working on a paper project and we find we don't have just the right embellishment that we would like to have for our project. Sometimes it means that we don't have the right color. So today I want to talk about custom dyeing your twine. I have a piece of white twine here, which is a product I love because it's so easy to tie into a bow. And I'm going to custom dye this twine to be polished pink. Polished pink is one of the new in colors for 2021 to 2023. It'll be premiering along with the other four in just a couple of weeks in the annual catalog. Be on the lookout for that on May 4th of 2021. For now, let me show you how easy it is to custom dye your own twine. I love this process. You must have patience because it will take a little bit of drying time for your twine. You can try to speed that up with a heat tool or something else, um, but mainly I just let mine dry. All right, so I'm going to take this polished pink, open it up, and I have an acrylic block here that I'm going to use for this process. And I am simply going to give a generous coat of ink uh, onto my acrylic block. Now, I'm going to use some um, rubber gloves as well for this process because this is fairly messy. And I don't want to get that ink all over my hands. If I do, it's a, a simple cleanup with water. But I would prefer to just avoid that if I can. So I'm going to use a pair of rubber gloves and try to uh, keep that off my fingers. Okay, I'm in my gloves, and so I'm going to get started. Now, I've coated this with polished pink. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this up just to be sure I don't get my hands back in it again. Set that aside. And I have a water bottle here that will put water on my acrylic block. Now, you can see that's becoming very wet, and that's the way that I want it. So, once I have done that, I'm literally just going to make sure that my twine comes in contact with the surface of this acrylic block. And you can see the minute I put it down on the block, that twine is starting to absorb the ink. I'm going to use my take your pick tool to try to be sure I get all of that twine onto the surface of this acrylic block. If I don't care that it's fully coated, uh, I could get a bit of a tie-dye look from this, but I really want this to be totally polished pink. So I'm just moving it around on the surface of this block. I'm seeing that most of it appears to be coated now. And it is as simple as that. I now have a beautiful piece of polished pink twine. Now granted, I've used a very long piece of twine and it's rather tangled. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful when I uh, ravel this out and kind of uh, try to get all the little knots out of it, but that's fine. Now, what to do with this until it's dry? As I said, it'll take a little bit of time for it to dry. So I have a little tub here and a lid. You can literally buy these. Uh, they're the same thing that restaurants use when they give you sauces and that sort of thing to take out. Um, and uh, years ago, my husband bought a box of 2,500 of these at Sam's Club. And it'll take four lifetimes for me to use that many, so I don't recommend getting that many at a time. But uh, I do have plenty of them. I'm just going to pick up this wet twine place it in my little cup. It really doesn't matter that it has a lid, and I probably won't put a lid on it because it'll help it to air dry if it is open. Um, then I'm going to take a Sharpie pen and I'm going to write polished pink on this tub so that I know precisely what color I have dyed. But it is as simple as this. I now have custom dyed polished pink twine that I can use on my card projects. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you for visiting. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like to use me and visit my site for your Stampin' Up! needs, I would be honored to be your demonstrator. Just click the like button on this video and then hit the subscribe button below the video as well and that will notify you whenever I post new content to my YouTube channel. Thank you again for visiting. I hope you'll subscribe and take a look at the information below the video as well. Take care. Bye-bye.